it's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. In the previous video tutorial, we talked about how to use the Weebly slideshow multimedia element, which is up here. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to use the photo gallery element uh, from Weebly. So for the photo gallery, it's the same concept. You just drag and drop the element into here and you click into it and you can start uploading images. So I'm going to randomly pick a few of these images and start uploading them. And depending on the size of the image, um, it will determine how long uh, it takes to upload. But usually it's under a minute, so it's pretty quick. So once these images are uploaded, you can start configuring them. You can click into the actual element. You can set it as four columns or just two columns here, depending on how you want to style it. So I'm just going to keep it for two columns for now. And the spacing between the images you can configure here. You can add borders around the images if you wish. And notice how a lot of these images are different um, different dimensions. So these, this is a little bit shorter, that's a little bit wider as such. Um, so this cropping tool is really handy to make them all uniformly sized. So I'm going to go to square and you'll see immediately what happens. So it just looks a little bit better. So the, be but the best thing to do is actually adjust the dimensions of the image outside of Weebly using a, an image editing tool. Uh, there are a lot of free image editing tools out there if you don't have uh, Photoshop or, or whatnot. So you can actually edit the dimensions of the images there so it becomes a little bit better. Okay, so you can do that, which is really neat. One click and everything's sort of looking uh, really nicely organized. And the advanced option is just adjusting the spacing. So that's just the photo gallery. Simple and easy to insert.